Hello everyone. In this video we will be seeing about Whirlpool bath. Whirlpool baths are stainless steel tanks or bath of various size. The smaller one are made to accommodate one limb while the larger ones allow the patient to sit. It contain water with a turbine in it to produce movement of water through agitation and aeration making it unable to assist or resist movement of distal part of the extremities or the whole extremity and lower trunk. Warm Whirlpool contains water at temperature ranging between 36 to 41 degrees celsius and a jet of water or air stream allowed to produce turbulence in water this turbulence is produced by electrical motor incorporated into the apparatus types it is of two types such as extremity tank low boy and high boy tanks the extremity tanks are useful for the treatment of distal extremities whereas the low boy and high boy tanks are useful for the immersion of large part of the extremities and for immersion up to the waist technique of application the tank is filled with water and required temperature is selected using thermostat if required an antimicrobial agent is added to water this is particularly for the treatment of wounds the patient is prepared as per any hot or cold treatments no clothing should be allowed to enter into the water as it may be sucked into the turbine if wound is to be treated the wound dressing need to be removed and the therapist should wear gloves to prevent the spread of infection position the patient comfortably with the affected area immersed in water adjust the direction and aeration of the turbine as per the effect required turn on the turbine and tell the patient to exercise the affected part if treatment is directed for the joint stiffness or edema without acute inflammation treatment time is 10 to 30 minutes though shorter period may be indicated for wound debridement at the end of the treatment clean the area if a wound is being treated at the end the wound dressing is reapplied indication or uses of whirlpool bath open wound for cleaning of open wounds gentle debridement and necrotic tissue vigorous action can destroy the delicate granulation in circumstances where healing is slow such as varicose ulcer the mechanical effect is considered to provoke granulation tissue formation by increasing the local blood flow relief of pain stimulation of skin surface mechanically this stimulate mechanoreceptor with thermoreceptor for analgesic effect to reduce edema There is increase in blood flow with the limb in elevation helps to reduce edema advantages of whirlpool bath can be used for heating effects exercise as well as for wound dressing allows patient comfort weaker muscles can be exercised effectively allows movement along with heating unlike other heating modalities disadvantages of whirlpool bath size of tank limit its use risk of infection spread in wound treatments cost for cleaning and heating is more contraindications altered skin sensation altered circulation dermatological conditions or skin infection such as fungal or bacterial infection uncooperative patient psoriasis